My name is Jeb, and the packaging is discreet. Just got home from Illinois. Lock the front door. Open. Lights are useful for climate and security. I figure if someone wants to grow a plant for themselves, it doesn't need to be anybody's business. Speaking of business, this video is sponsored by Mars Hydro. Do, 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 looking out my back door. I got some new merchandise too. Some of the band members may not approve, but I'm not worried. I'm not selling blue jeans here. I'm selling freedom. start let's see if this thing runs cool enough to rest a phone on it'd be neat to hide this light in a fridge I guess a stand-up freezer would be better you'd want to make sure to get one where the coolant doesn't run through the shelves if the freezer was functional you could do a sealed room grow Put a temperature controller on the compressor. Just run it a few times a day to chill things out. Security wise, it's normal for a freezer to have a lock. Gonna need to add CO2. Someone told me long ago there's a calm before the storm. I know some kind of circulation fan would be important, but you don't want to blast the leaves. When it's over, so you put the light up as high as you can. Here's where the space that the reflector takes up comes into play. It's normal for a freezer to make noise, but you would just need to run a carbon scrubber when the doors open. Speaking of noise, the light is completely silent. It has no fans. The aluminum reflector acts as a heat sink and you're going to have air circulation of your own. Cutting holes in a freezer might be hazardous. You could hit electrical or mechanical if you're lucky. Worst thing would be to hit pressurized gas. Expense is a big issue unless you've already got the equipment. Growing in a closet's a common idea. The thing is, if you're gonna grow in a closet and your idea is to lock the room, why not just grow properly in a tent? Or the room itself? Yeah. Closets have lots of space compared to other enclosures. The, 
The nice thing is there's lots of clearance. You can hang the light off the ceiling. Some kind of circulating fan's important. Sealing off sliding doors is a challenge, so you'd probably want to run an air scrubber on the floor. The big doors means it'll be easy to get water and nutrients in and out of the space. Some folks are born made to wave the flag. Ooh, they're red, white, and blue. And when the band plays hail to the chief, ooh, they want the cannon at you. Now. You might have to paint the walls or put up some reflective material. You don't have to, though. It ain't me, it ain't me, I ain't no fortune in one, no. Some folks are born, silver spoon in hand, Lord, don't they help themselves, no. But when the tax man comes to the door, Lord, the house look like a rummage sale. Growing in a cabinet could be exciting. It would be a cramped space, but... Would you expect to look in a cabinet and find a plant? If you're going to have 80 pounds of water in a hydroponic tote, you probably want to reinforce the bottom, make it a little stronger. The top shelf could be used to suspend the light, and then put some of your other equipment above it. It's not normal for noise to come out of cabinets, so... You could try to run a carbon filter off a computer fan. Now some people say one computer fan cannot push air through a carbon filter or pull air through a carbon filter. Well in my trash can grow three computer fans pushed in. It worked fine. So maybe I'll try it and find out for sure. If we cut away part of the top shelf, we could get the equipment above there. Cabinets don't usually have plugs, so we might want to put it in front of an electric outlet. Sneak it out the back. If the cabinet doesn't already have a lock, maybe one of those magnetic child locks would work. And I wonder, still I wonder, who'll stop the rain? Well, let's compare some of these options and see how this light might function. We'll compare the cost, the effort, security, and growth advantage of each. For security, we need to consider light escaping. Heat could be an issue. Smell, sound, access. Freezer is weak on cost, unless you've already got a freezer, but still you're gonna need carbon dioxide, sealed room, maybe a humidifier or dehumidifier. It's a lot of work and hazard cutting into a freezer. Be careful. Since a freezer seals, Light escaping shouldn't be an issue. It's normal for a freezer to be hot. Sealed room should help with the smell. Freezers make noise. I don't know if we're gonna want a full-blown carbon filter inside, but maybe just run it when the door is open. If we seal the space and control the environment well, you could blast the light in a freezer. Airflow could be a challenge because Plants don't like being blasted in the leaves. Clearance is an issue too, unless you have a tall freezer. Growing in a closet's the cheapest option for sure. Closet should be minimal effort. Security's the main concern. It's not normal to have light inside a closet. Closets aren't usually warm unless you're growing plants in them. Smell will definitely be a challenge because of the air leaks. Closets aren't usually locked. 
and noises don't usually come from closets. Having a good environment would be not too bad in a closet. You've got lots of room. Airflow should be better because of the extra space. Big doors means you can get tubs of water in and out easy. The tall ceiling's an advantage for sure. Growing in a cabinet should have moderate cost. Seems like there'd be moderate effort in building out a cabinet. Maybe I'll find out. It should be pretty easy to block out light, unless there's a lot of big cracks in the cabinet. Heat is an issue. It's not normal for a cabinet to be hot. So you could have a very stealthy cabinet, and then if somebody touches it or leans against it, I don't think smell in a cabinet will be a big issue. That is if the computer fan works. If we have to rely on a noisy fan, then it could be trouble. Restricting access to the cabinet could be done with locks. If the lock looks like it's been added or it's real visible, that might make the cabinet more interesting to someone, but I like the child lock idea. Environment's the big problem for the cabinet. Plants do not like cramped spaces. If the walls are already white plastic, I think we can just use them as they are. Otherwise, we'll just have to paint. Getting good airflow in a cabinet could be a challenge. That's also one of the stealth advantages, though. Quiet cabinet. Big buckets of water for the cabinet could be trouble if you don't reinforce the bottom. All right, freezer can't have all these high numbers. We're going to demote the water nutrient score. So overall, I guess closet is best for growth. Sealed room on freezer would be pretty close to. Security for freezer seems best, unless you leave the key lying around. Closet security is a joke. If you can lock the door, grow the plant in the room or a tent, cabinet security comes somewhere in the middle. So if we look at overall scores, closet seems great. The only thing is closet is very poor for security. And I'm thinking that might be the most important stat. This is the Mars Hydro TS-1000. The light looks excellent, but the best part is the price. There's a nice spread of SMD diodes on this light. Should be nice, even coverage. I like how it's clear that the light is 150 watts. No shenanigans with the wattage here at Mars. The dimmer feature on this light is going to be very handy in enclosed spaces. Or if we have some kind of heating cooling emergency, just dim the light down. Need to inspect the plants? Don't worry. It's full spectrum. The daisy chain feature is very interesting. Could be great for scaling up your grow. Suppose you have a room with a closet, okay, and you start your mother plant and clones in the closet. So that's one light. And then when you're ready, you could add a veg, a veg tent out in the room. Put four of these lights in that tent, you know, get a bigger tent, put four in there, daisy chain them. You could, the dimmer is removable. So you could put the dimmer outside the tent door. Dim it down right before you walk in. Very pleasant. The removable driver will let us get the driver up and away from the plant. If you're using a tent, you might even be able to get the driver outside of your grow space. Look how slim this light gets when we take off the driver and the dimmer. There's a link in the description with details. Make sure you use the JEB code. It helps support the channel and you get a great discount too.